Before I begin, I just want to say this is not a solution to a problem. If you're looking for a video that's a solution to a problem, you're in the wrong place, so you uh, may want to go somewhere else at this point. Just let you know that from the start. Don't want it to be seen as clickbait. I will put it very clearly in the description that we're just discussing a problem here. So the problem I'm looking at is uh, ever since Premiere Pro 2017, Premiere Pro CC 2017 came about, I've had this issue playing ProRes, and I think it's limited to ProRes, uh, and I've never had a problem before. So when we've got some ProRes clips here. Uh, these are UHD ProRes HQ422 clips. So they're about 650 megabits per second. Not a problem as far as data is concerned off a hard drive. Never been a problem playing these with no effects, obviously, in Premiere in the past. No problem playing these in, in a program like DaVinci Resolve. But ever since Premiere Pro 2017, I've had this issue where they kind of glitch when they're playing. And it's not the same kind of glitching as when, uh, you know, if you put too many effects on something and they, they can kind of like stutter a little bit and it just can't keep up. It's a different kind of glitching and I, it probably won't do it for me now. So it's going to be hard to show you, but I'm going to just play this clip and see whether it'll, whether it'll do it or not. See, I'm surprised it's even jumping there at all. Ah, right, there you go. Now, did you see the way his arm jumped back? I don't know if, if any of anyone who is old enough to, will remember something called Max Headroom. Now, he oh, had a, a, a particular good. effect put on him when he was talking, this the way that he kind of flicked back and, uh, and repeated certain Boy, frames. Right. And, and well, it's a very sort of odd effect, but a very specific one. And that's exactly the kind of effect that I'm getting, the exact kind of glitch that I'm getting when I'm playing ProRes footage. Now, I do, I, if you didn't see that jump on his arm there, then uh, go back and watch that again. I'll try and do another clip and show you uh, a little bit more. But that's a, probably quite a good one because um, it's got... Mm, oh, this, I think this one might have movement in, actually. It's got a bike on it. See, I don't know why we're getting this lag. Okay, so I can't get it to do it at the moment. But trust me, it does do it. Let's try again. There you go. Do you see the way that jumped back then? And there? I've never experienced this before, and I've tried all sorts of things. So I'll show you what I've tried. If I go to my preferences and go into general, I've done um, under media, I think it is. I've disabled this, enable accelerated Intel. Someone suggested that on a forum. That's made no difference. I've made a couple of changes to this setting here, so optimize rendering for performance or memory. I've done both. I've changed a bit of memory settings a little bit. I've changed the location of my scratch disks. Um, I've copied the file to another drive to make sure that that drive isn't having a particular issue. Uh, but again, 650 megabits per second off a off a you know a hard drive in a PC of, of this this caliber is not a problem and it's never been a problem prior to 2017 and this is i'm actually using to premiere pro 2017.1 at the moment and what else have i tried um there is a setting in set in this section here which is just going off my capture window actually but uh, i think it's uh, so we've got high quality playback and this is checked at the moment and i have found that if i uncheck this it sometimes improves it but if I then go into Premiere again and have it unchecked, it will still, it, it's more a case of changing this setting improves it, not the setting itself. Uh, so that doesn't do anything. I've got this set to full here. I know some of you will be screaming, oh, reduce your, reduce your um, uh, resolution. Well, that's fine, but it still does it. And um, it still does it at a lower resolution. And to be perfectly honest, I've got nothing going on on these clips at the moment. So Premiere's not having to do any effects. It's not, it hasn't even got Lumetri color on here. It's got nothing on these clips at the moment. They are just straight out of the, the Atomos recorder. No grading whatsoever. 
so there's nothing to do and 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 it should be fine you know playing at full resolution on the screen because it yeah as I, again i stress that it has been fine in the past so <clears throat> well i think on that last clip there we got a very good demonstration of the problem that i'm experiencing i've got a, one possible theory and that is something relating to QuickTime. And I don't know this, this is just me making stuff up, basically. But my theory is that, you know, if this doesn't happen on DNX HD clips and, I'm, uh, and DNX HR clips, so I'm not certain whether it does or not, I probably should check that. But I, at the moment, I'm seeing this mainly on ProRes clips, and I'm thinking, well, was, have, have Premiere changed anything? Have Adobe changed anything in relation to... QuickTime, because obviously QuickTime isn't supported on Windows anymore. So I'm wondering whether Adobe have implemented some support, different, you know, because in the past, I'm sure I used to go into Adobe products and it used to say, to play certain stuff, you will need QuickTime installed. But they probably can't do that now because there have, you know, people have found a number of security flaws within QuickTime. So for a, for a, pro, um, a company like Adobe to come in and say, oh, you've got to install Adobe, never mind the security flaws, they're fine. That probably wouldn't be the best thing for them to do. So I'm wondering whether they've changed something in the way that, that so, so QuickTime will decode ProRes. And I'm wondering whether they've maybe changed something in the way that it does uh, the, the decoding portion of it so they're not reliant on QuickTime anymore. And they've just balls it up because it doesn't work properly. And this is very frustrating because at the moment I'm working on a project and I've got multiple clips of these. And it's just, I don't know, you just think on a machine of this capability, you should be able to play it back in real time. I'm not doing anything massively complicated in this edit that I'm working on. Uh, but but it is it's something that I would like to see in real time, and without sort of rendering. And I know that in the past, with that kind of complexity of Reddit edit, I would have been able to do that. So anyway, there you go. Seven minutes in, or seven or eight minutes in. Hopefully, maybe somebody out there will have experienced this problem. Don't know. It's YouTube's all about a community, isn't it? And I and I don't love posting these videos because I. I I, I do see it a little bit as clickbait, I suppose. If I put like a title on my video saying Premiere Pro, Premier Pro Glitchy or something, people will probably think there's a fix for it. But as I stressed at the start, this isn't a fix. This is just me wanting to talk about the problem, maybe get some experience from people who know more than I do about this or, or have found a fix for it. Or maybe even, even better would be somebody from Adobe coming onto YouTube and saying, you know, or maybe via another you know, social media channel like, uh, like Twitter or something to say, try this or try that so if you have please do comment below and thank you for watching and listening to me talk about this problem it's really buggy it's really starting to bug me now <laughs> and uh, when i'm trying to do work and it's kind of just getting in the way of things but if adobe are watching great job on the titles re revamp in premiere pro nice job that is a really really needed addition and i'll be covering that in a future video thanks for watching catch you soon bye Thank you.